Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. In today's video we are gonna learn how to get started with Apache Hoodie, Glue and Minio running everything locally in a matter of minutes. So without wasting any further time let's get started. Alright so let's get started with the exercise. Before we begin I wanted to take one minute to thank the author who has done a fantastic job of posting all the necessary steps and resources on his GitHub uh, repository. So feel free to connect with the author if needed. All right, so head over to your IntelliJ, VS Code, or whatever code editor you're using, and let's create a folder called Learn Hoodie Minio Glue. So I'm gonna copy this command and create a directory. After that, I would CD into that directory. And then we have to clone the repository. So uh, we're gonna issue a command called git clone and followed by the URL. So I'm gonna do that. And here you can see the repository has been cloned. Now uh, we'll head over inside the folder hoodie and glue locally. So, okay, so now I'm inside the folder. Now let's review the project files. So you should have a Docker Compose file over here. Uh, this Docker Compose file should have uh, three images or three containers is gonna start, which is the glue container locally. Then it would uh, have a Minio container. And then you have an AWS CLI container. Uh, the AWS CLI container will create an S3 bucket called warehouse on Minio, right? Minio is an object store, right? Similar to S3. Uh, this one right here will start the Minio and this one right here will start the glue container. All right, so now, all you have to do is you can say docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus d this will start all the containers running locally and these containers are about two to three gigabytes so depending upon your internet speed it could take about 15 to 30 minutes okay so now i have these containers running locally now i'll open up a new tab over here and i can head, o head over to localhost 8888 this should spin up my Jupyter lab and you should have a IPython notebook called hoodie evaluation.ipnw. Again, it's a Jupyter notebook, right? Now head over to localhost 9001. This should uh, show you a beautiful Minio uh, UI over here. The username is gonna be Minio admin and the password is gonna be Minio admin. Login. And here uh, you should see an S3 bucket called warehouse, click on that. And there you should see a folder called raw. And there is some sample data set that you can use to play with. All right, so hopefully that made sense. Now double click on this IPython notebook, okay? Now let's perform the lab, okay? So over here we are, uh, you know, configuring, configuring the Spark session. So I'm gonna execute this particular cell. After that, uh, we have to set uh, certain variables. So I'm setting AWS access, secret key, uh, then we are setting S3A endpoint to our uh, Minio endpoint over here, which is HTTP Minio colon 9000, right? So I would execute this particular cell. Great, that's great. Now uh, we, we are gonna read the data as a Spark data frame object. Again, our data is inside the bucket called warehouse inside the folder raw. raw. So I'm just gonna say show instead, and I'm gonna run the cell. And this should show me a nice, uh, you know, PySpark data frame object. As you can see, we have an ID, we have a type, we have a created at, we have documents, payer, and the amount, okay? Uh, now this is a Python function, which will build the hoodie settings. As you can see, based on the parameter, uh, the job of this function is to simply build the hoodie settings. So what we'll do is over here, we're gonna say database name as gold, table name as transaction, and this is the path where I wanna create my gold transactional data lake, right, from the raw. And here I am passing in bunch of parameters, which will basically create my hoodie configurations, okay? So for example, the database name is gonna be gold, the table name is gonna be transaction, uh, record key is basically uh, your primary key, I'm using an ID. Uh, for D2 purposes, I'm also using ID. The author has chosen ID. Table type is gonna be merge on read. Uh, partition field, I wanna partition my data by documents. So again, in the uh, PySpot data frame, you have a column called document. That's how I wanna partition it, right? So going back down. All right, now a bunch of flags here. We have enable partition set to true, enable cleaner set to true. 
uh, hive sync is set to false uh, index type is going to be bloom clustering column is going to be default which means we are not using clustering for this exercise so what i will do is i'll execute this cell and uh, again as you can see we got some output this is the hori settings right now we will write the data into who our minio bucket so we're going to say uh, data frame i mean top df dot write dot format as hori and uh, we are going to basically perform an overwrite over here okay so i will execute this cell and i should be seeing five records on my min io again i do not have a folder called gold but after i run this uh, the cell i should be seeing a gold folder so if i go back if i come here as you can see i see a gold folder i see a folder called transactions and then i see my hodi metadata and i see my partitions and inside partition i have my base or parquet file great now author has given some more uh, again code code snippets to perform some further actions so here we are performing an append operation on hudi transactional data lake so we are adding more records to it so i will execute and now the count should be about 150 probably hopefully this would take about you know a couple of seconds uh, to run okay yeah 100 makes sense yeah sorry so yeah, so we see those documents count now, right? Now author has also given snippets to perform some updates. Here you can see we are grabbing 50 items and we are grabbing this as a dictionary. And then we are adding, you know, this amount uh, of money to all, all the particular uh, 50 items, right? And then we are performing, uh, you know, an update on a hoodie transactional data like. So if I quickly change this to show instead, oops, I need to execute this first. And here you can see we were able to add that amount, right? And now we are going to simply perform an update on Hodi transactional data lake, as you can see. And then we are reading the data from Hodi transactional data lake for that particular document. And as you can see, uh, you know, the amount has been now changed, right? Similarly, you can perform a delete operation. Author has given the snippet for that as well. Uh, the only thing for delete is you're going to change hoodie data source write dot operation to delete. And then here, simply using Spark SQL, right? Select everything from transaction where ID is, you know, uh, this, right? And then based on that, we are simply performing a delete operation on hoodie transactional data. Right? So let me execute that. And I should see the output um, now. and yep works fine so again feel free to clone the repository uh, feel free to try these things out uh, the, the 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 this repository makes uh, you know local development much easier right if somebody wants to try these out somebody wants to try the poc all you got to do is simply clone the repository uh, you know do docker compose up hyphen hyphen build uh, minus d which will start all the containers running locally and then you can start writing code start working with minio start working with hoodie glue etc so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you do, did enjoy the video um, you know make sure to like subscribe uh, and if you have any further questions please list your question in the comment section and i would be more than happy to answer that with that being said keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you in the upcoming coming next video. Goodbye, guys.